Alright guys, MTech Guy here and today we're going to be taking a look at fixing a small problem on the 1 Series. Now ever since I bought this car the rear window washer hasn't worked. Now this is a super common problem on these cars but it's a really easy fix. So if you are experiencing this issue with your 1 Series there's going to be no need to take your car to a garage. It's a really really easy fix to sort out yourself and the best part about it is it ain't going to cost you any money, it's a freebie this one. So let's take a look at the steps required to get your rear window washer working again. Now then, the problem normally lies with this spray nozzle getting blocked which resides right there at the base of the wiper. So if we jump inside the car here to ascertain that it is actually a blocked rear washer nozzle, first off we'll turn on the ignition and then next up we're just going to push forward on the wiper stalk to operate the washer pump which resides in the engine bay under the bonnet under the hood. Now we can hear that pump operating. There you go, so that lets us know that it is actually pumping washer fluid from the front of the car to the rear and it's that nozzle that's blocked that's not allowing it to spray on the rear window. Alright, so next up we'll take a look at what tools we're going to need to get the job done. So to start off with, you're going to need some kind of sharp thin instrument like this you can either use a needle or a thin piece of wire we're going to use that to unblock the hole next up you're going to need a pair of pliers and then to clean everything out I've got a squirty bottle here with some hot soapy water that's just dishwashing liquid in there and then finally you're going to want a small container with some dishwashing liquid in there a bit of hot soapy water all right so let's get into it okay so to start off with we need to remove this small black plastic shroud that covers the nozzle so we're just going to grab it at the back here hinge it forward and then pull it out now we've got the cover removed that reveals the nozzle itself now before you go any further just make a mental note of the orientation of the hole in the nozzle to the wiper so it's not sitting in the center it's sitting just off center like that okay so we're going to take our pliers and remove this nozzle it just wiggles out just like that and then what we'll do is chuck this nozzle in the soapy water to have a good soak now while that nozzles having a good soak what we'll do is give this opening a good spray down with the soapy water and then we'll take our wee tool here and give that a good poke and a prod and now that the washer nozzle has had a good soak in that soapy water what I'll do is use that same tool to clean out both ends of the nozzle itself before refitting it to the car alright so I've now got my nozzle all cleaned out ready to refit now before you do refit it just remember the orientation of the spray nozzle of the hole in relation to the wiper remember it was just up like that pointing towards the glass so we'll refit that now just by pushing it back in there we go and now we can refit the plastic cover the shroud so again just reverse the removal that just pushes in like that and then hinges down there we go all right so now it's time for the big test so what i'll do is i'll mount the camera on the parcel shelf you guys keep an eye on the rear glass i'll go and press the windscreen washer switch and we'll see what happens eh Alright guys, so there we have it, that's that job sorted and that just shows you how easy it is. So 9 times out of 10 that will fix it, but if you do experience it not working once you've carried that procedure out, then it will require you getting inside the tailgate, removing some of the panels and doing some further clean out on the inside. And what I've done is I've made a video on that also, it is a little bit more involved but if you're keen on your DIY when you're working on your car, it's not that big of a job and what I'll do is I'll leave a link at the top of the video there and I'll also put a link in the description below if you found the video interesting or useful don't forget to give it a like and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more BMW DIY content I'm MTech Guy thanks a lot for watching